If you are in a place where you're feeling a bit paralyzed and a bit stuck around some change that you'd like to make in your life and you're kind of feeling like it's really hard to move and make decisions, then today I have a super simple but actually really profound practice that I'd like to talk to you about today. So my name is Jacqueline Foster. I'm the author of I Touch Myself, Lessons to Wake Up Desire and Fire Up Your Sex Drive. And these, this channel, these videos are all about giving you more permission for your pleasure, your pain, and for creating new possibilities in your life. And so if you are someone who's in transition and would like more support with that, one, make sure to pop in your email. Come on over to JacquelineLaceyFoster.com so that I can send you information, updates when new videos come out. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one support, you can email me directly at info at JacquelineLaceyFoster.com because I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so feel free to reach out for that if that is something you connect with. So you are in a place of paralysis and don't know what to do. I am, I can tell you, I'm one of those people that when it comes to that stress, that fight, flight, or freeze response, I have definitely historically been a freezer. I will feel kind of like really stuck and paralyzed and like the only thing I know to do is just conserve my energy and to just like almost stay small and stay inactive. And so through a lot of my life, a part of what I've been doing is figuring out how do I get out of that freeze place? How do I get into a place where I'm actually creating movement? And I think I've shared on some other videos some of my favorite things like dancing and journaling and all of that, but today I'd like to talk about something that's so super simple and the more that I do it, the more I realize how much it helps me shift out of that state of paralysis. And what it is, is basically simply putting on your shoes and going for a walk. Now, this might sound oversimplified, but it's really interesting because I've been coming across more and more quotes and poets and authors that speak to the analogy of taking steps, of creating our own path. And a lot of times for me, I've thought about this more mentally, like, okay, when I do something different or I think a different way, I'm creating a path, a new path in my mind. So keep going on that path. And I love that, but I hadn't thought just how much about when I actually take footsteps physically and walk in the world, that that also is getting me out of that state of paralysis. It's getting me into a new place of movement. There was a quote I came across the other day from a Spanish poet, Antonio Machado, that I thought was just so like, it just hit me and I realized, oh my gosh, this is part of that reason that walking is just so amazing. And it goes like this, traveler, there is no path. The path is made by walking. For some reason, that hit me in a way where I was like, oh my gosh, this is so true. When we're stuck and we stay physically still, it keeps us in that place, place of like, shit, where is this path going? And the way that we actually create that path for ourselves and continue on is literally can be as simple as putting on our walking shoes and going out the door for a walk. The more I've done this, I've realized just how many times I have realizations, I have new perspective shifts, I see something in a way that I didn't see it before when I was kind of just sitting at home in that reflective state or in that paralysis state. When we stay too long in that paralysis state and in that reflective state without moving, what happens is our decision making is coming from more of a place of fear than actually love and possibility and movement. So my challenge to you today is if you are in that place of paralysis to get your walking shoes on and to go for a walk and see how that feels, see what happens. And I recommend that if this is something that's, that paralysis is something that sounds familiar and common to you, take more walks. 
See what happens when you more regularly get out, get yourself outside and get your feet moving, taking one footstep after the other. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe and wishing you an amazing, amazing day. Keep your desires alive. Keep moving towards coming alive and doing those things you love. And I will see you next time. Mwah.